Hey, hey, what's up, Cloud Scholars? Welcome back. Um, I'm your host, Kieran Tross. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through walk you through utilizing PowerShell to create a virtual machine. Now, I've I have videos that shows how to create a virtual th machine through Azure uh, Cloud Portal, but you can use PowerShell as well. Um, in fact, you can use PowerShell for a lot of different things. PowerShell is uh, a very powerful tool. And as you progress throughout your career, or as you uh, you know go through the learning steps and you start using Azure and you get your first job, uh, one thing I would tell you is PowerShell is going to allow you to do many different things and then automate as well. So, um, but for this video, we're going to keep it simple. We're going I'm just going to show you how to uh, create a resource group, and then after that, we're going to. Uh, put the uh, virtual machine in that meet resource group. So one thing I want you to do is come over here to the top corner and you see this little icon right here and then it says the cloud shell. Click on that and then you'll see that it will start uh, opening up a bottom screen right here for your PowerShell. Now, if it's your first time utilizing this, um, what you're gonna see is it's gonna you know ask you if you're gonna use Bash or PowerShell. And then just choose PowerShell, and then what Azure is going to do is going to uh, create a storage account to associate with your um, PowerShell commands. It's going to have to use a storage account. So once you're here, what the first thing we need to do is create a resource group. So you're going to type in new AZ resource, and you can put G, and you hit tab, and then we're going to say name, and we'll say, I don't know, uh, scholars uh, RG, and then we're going to do location, because we need to say what location this resource group is going to be in, and we're going to say East US. I typed location wrong, and that is why it's giving me that error message. All right, good. So resource group, scholars, RG, its location is East US, and we can see the provision of state is successful. So I'm gonna come over here um, and choose resource group. Let's just make sure that we got it right. And what do we call it? We called it scholars RG. So we don't see it populate in here yet, but what we should do is hit refresh. And there it goes, Scholars RG. All right, so our resource group is there. So the next thing we need to do is create the VM. So let's go new dash A Z A Z V M. And we're going to say resource group. is going to be name and here we're going to put scholars rg and then for name we're going to say um we could call it my new vm uh, subnet so let's come over here to subnets and let's see where we're gonna drop it at so we have East US is where we're gonna drop it and we come to subnets and then we have okay so we're just gonna drop it in default and security group So create a group name. What do we have for our names for our security groups? So let's do, oh, right here. Um, we don't have one for this default one. So let's, mm -hmm. let's go back a little bit and we'll just drop in East, East US. I want to show you how it is with the security group. Um, and then where was I at? Virtual network subnet. And we need to go to security group, security group name, and we're going to say scholars VM NSG. And then we're going to do public IP address. Let's 
we could create one and we could just say um, new PB IP 23 and then open port and we'll do 80 so now it's asking for the credentials. So supply values for the following parameters, credentials. So what's the username is asking for? So we'll just say scholars admin and then password is asking for. So we'll say put our password in. It's creating a resource and you can see right now So what did I put in wrong in that last command? Oh, I forgot to put a little comma there. So this is great. I like when I create these videos and I make these mistakes because if you, you know, sometimes when you're following videos, that other people that are going through, you know, um, you may have some issues or even if you're reading through the, uh, through the, uh, the documents of Microsoft, you may run into issues. So it's great. So this way you can see, you know, how you could go about troubleshooting these videos. So I don't like to go through my videos and edit them and show you a perfect world because that doesn't make any sense. You know, we all make mistakes. It doesn't matter if you do it a thousand times, you're going to make mistakes. But it's really important to see that, hey, this is security invalid port range. And then this way you can say, oh, okay, I see exactly what I did wrong. So now let's go again, and we're going to say scholars, like a type, admin, and then we're going to put our password in again. So I didn't create a size for it. So what it's going to do is just going to say the default size is standard D2S. Uh, v3 which is perfectly fine you, you could have added the size to it and told azure hey this is the size you want to put in it but i just i left it there and i i purposely do these kind of things there because i want you to see exactly you know how you read through some of these um error messages or even some of these warnings that populate so it says resource group name we dropped in that resource group we created earlier it's given us a subscription uh the name of the vm is my new vm the location is East US. There's no tags associated with it. We could have done that as well. And then you see um, network profile, the VM size, and all that other stuff. So I mean, we could have we could have went a little bit further with that PowerShell command and uh, give and provision it with more information. But if you miss certain stuff, Azure is going to just give you a default. But there are certain things that Azure will not do. You have to give it the information like resource group. It has to know exactly what resource group is placed in that object. So now here we go. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to virtual machines and let's see what happens. Okay, there it goes. My new VM. Uh, it's in the scholars RG East US. It's running already. And then you can see it just gave us the default uh, size. So that's pretty much it. That's how you go about creating uh, Azure virtual machine. As always, if you found this inf uh, video to be informative, please smash that like and subscribe button. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen into this video. Uh, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar uh, to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you. I'll see you next time.